Okay, today is a very special day for the Team Aquascape vlogs and for me personally because I am out rebuilding a pond that was built in 1995. Your guys' job is to catch the frogs. Frog. Yeah! We're gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. All of the materials just to rip out an old water feature. Working man's tools. Good morning. So are you gonna help us today? Yeah, hey, what's up, Asher? Hey buddy, how you doing? Yeah. Yeah. You, man handshake. I love it. I love it. So Asher, you got a business doing this stuff, don't you? Cutting lawns and working outside and everything. Yeah, boy, you got all every boy's here, huh? Yeah. Okay, so what year dad did this? Oh, look at how grown in it is. What year did this go in? 95. 1995. Yep. My dad built it for us. Yes, he did. I remember when your dad came into my very first building. He was 15. You drove him, right? That's right. And so this pond has been going. So as you can see, it's, it's very grown in, Daniel. So we got a two-day build. How you doing, buddy? Hi. Good to see you. Excited about working today? Yeah. I love the energy. I can have some future pond builders here. We're just going to take all of this out today, and then tomorrow we're going to rebuild it. Yeah, so we got a lot of equipment out there, so you guys should get your shoes on that you're going to work, and then Daniel will show you how he's taking everything else, and then you can help us put the boards down and everything else like this. Okay. Does that sound cool? And Daniel, we're not doing anything for the waterfalls and the stream. It's perfect. A lot of frogs back here, huh? The sound of it. I, and in the pond, yeah. I, I, I could hear them. Yep. So in a few hours, this will all be ripped out, and then tomorrow we'll rebuild it, and you'll have a brand new water feature. And it's just going to be like a frog pond, right? Yep. Yeah, just a nature pond, and you got a lot of frogs and stuff. So 1995 to 2021, that's a pretty good run for a pond. Yes, it is. So we're just going to update it. And very reliable, and it's been a fantastic water feature and part of the home and all the I could I could see <laughs> and they're going to look for frogs <laughs> they look like they're doing pretty good that's good and your dog goes in there Lily that's why I call her a lily pond I love it all right do you guys like catching frogs so all of the frogs that we catch we're gonna catch and put them in a little kiddie pool okay so your job your guys job is to catch the frogs yeah Okay, today is a very special day for the Team Aquascape vlogs and for me personally because I am out rebuilding a pond that was built in 1995 by a man who would eventually become a very good friend of mine, Aaron Powers. This is uh, the childhood home of Aaron Powers. His mom and dad still live here. And unfortunately, in May at age 40, after the fifth time of it coming back, cancer took my friend Aaron's life. And I saw his mom and his dad at the wake and the funeral. We were just talking about the pond. This pond went in in 1995, and it's been a source of enjoyment for the whole family, but uh, it needs a facelift. So I'm out here today doing all the demo work with his four kids, great kids, and we are going to uh, rebuild the Powers family home. I remember Aaron extremely well because he was a kid after my own heart. And here's his entire family, his kids that are all catching frogs, right guys? We're draining the pond that's been running since 1995. The only thing that we have done differently is we've added a new skimmer on it. The beautiful stream is still working great. We're not gonna touch that, but as you can see, the pond is completely overgrown after all of these years with plants. And so we're just gonna today demo the whole thing, and tomorrow it's gonna be really special because a bunch of us that knew Aaron and worked with Aaron came in at 15 years old with his dad and picked up all of his products at Aquascape. He couldn't drive yet and came back and built this pond. I went to college, eventually got a job with me working in the tech department, helping people out. Decided he wanted to be a pond builder, helping other people be pond builders, became a pond builder. And I've known him, like I said, since 1995 when he came into my uh, very first warehouse. And I thought, hey, there's a kid just like me that likes turtles, fish, and frogs. And we've been lifelong friends and I feel awful for his young family and his widow and his parents. And so today we're going to rip out and rebuild this entire pond. The stream is still beautiful. And I got his whole family here working with me. Like I said, it's a very special 
special pond build for Team Aquascape. I love my job. All right, we have our runway set up all the way to the back. And now it's just basically taking out all of the old rock and we're gonna pull some of them away. We're gonna reuse some of them with all of these helpers out here and re-dig it out a little bit wider and put some new moss rock, which I'd like to upgrade to. So Asher, this is a little bit like what you do. You work outside, you have your own lawn mowing business, right? How many lawns do you cut? Hey, that's pretty good, buddy. That's how I started, and your dad too, right? We just need to get your brother doing it. <laughs> <laughs> this for a day at the office. His dad would be proud. That's 26 years of growth, gone in minutes. An operator right there one boulder at a time no problem to do flex PVC pipe that was white. They made it for spas. We got eventually stuff made for ponds, but the old white pipe. Daniel right now is digging out the area that, wow, look at that. It's just a big solid piece of clay. And we're pulling this out of here. This is gonna be an intake bay. We're getting rid of the skimmer and we're putting an intake bay. It's gonna be a shallow nature pond, but then they won't need to clean the skimmer as much. It'll be lower maintenance. When they go away for a month, it'll be just fine as long as the pond stays full with a fill valve. But here comes out the skimmer, the old Aquascape skimmer that was actually installed a few years ago by Aaron and his dad when they upgraded from the fiberglass skimmer that we originally had out here in 1995. So go ahead, pull that out, Daniel. You need to worry about the pump going up to the top of the pond. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. Let's unhook that. Pond, Lily, 13 and doing good. And this is what the kids are doing. And I don't blame them one bit. So we are all done for the day. We have everything mucked out. Muck being the key word. And tomorrow we will move in with new stones plus some of the old stones. We'll probably rebuild this waterfall right here. You guys requested a beach area. So we're gonna have a beach area for the kids to come in. The intake bay over there. Asher, what'd you think about today? Hard work. It was hard work, but fun. it was? Yes, I know, you like hard work. I thought it was fun, no? It was very fun. Good, good, and you guys worked hard, and now you're grandma's responsibility. <laughs> hey. As I just wait to let that What you should do is push him over right now. <laughs> <laughs> kids being kids, I love it. <laughs> well, you get it too. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Loading up. And probably, ha, probably good three, four yards of spoils going back to Aqualand. What a great first day. And tomorrow I have Ed, the pond professor, coming out with me, and even Dave Kelly. And Dave might bring another guy too that used to work with Aaron. So it's just fun to uh, work with the whole team. And these kids were great. And this is what we need. We need more kids doing stuff like this. And the fact that they don't have their dad around, but they can still get out and do man stuff, I love it. I love my kids.